scooped up along the wall by Dreisaitl. No one home on that play. And couldn't find the intended receiver on that one. Giordano's going to play it against the half wall. Edmonton's got a hold of the puck. Right up the gut into the attacking zone. Cuts into the paint. Paddled away by Riddick. Sharp reaction save. Good check. Freeze the puck up. The Oilers scoop it up along the boards. We got a penalty coming up on the play as the referee extends his hand in the air. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. Here's a chance. The goaltender is quickly off to his bench to get the extra attacker out. And the play is whistled dead. Let's see what the call is made. Kachuk's hit not viewed positively in the eyes of the officials. And charging is the call. Just can't hit like that anymore. Too long a run to finish the check. Sends it across. Koskinen's going to cover it up for a faceoff. While his team's ahead, he wants to make sure the pace of the game stays at the level they like. Past the halfway mark of this period, 1-0 is where we sit at this point. Takes the feed ahead from the left side. There's a collision. The Flames take the puck through the neutral zone. Edmonton's got control of it now from their own end. Taken by Yamamoto. Into the middle of the neutral zone. Puck picked up by Athanasiu. Made the stop on that play. Big hit. Picked up along the boards by Reeder. They get it out of the defensive end. Here's a chance on the doorstep. It scores. Now, this is a different level here. You get into your first playoff, and you're able to get on the board. Officials getting ready to drop the puck. Puck possession so key in today's game. McDavid's one possession. Puts it on net. Lays out to block the shot. And now it's over to Lindholm. Couldn't connect, although not exactly an ideal pass to begin with. Here's a chance, and makes the save. Takes the feed from his netminder. Along the boards, they battle for the puck back and forth. Moves it to Athanasiu. Oh, pokes it away. Gutsy move, but it pays off. Streaking into the attacking zone for the right. To his teammate. Couldn't complete the play. Hammers one from the point, and he'll likely feel that one in the morning. Take it along the wall by Monaghan. Here comes the pushback. That's generally a no-fly zone with star players. Yeah, they get hit like that. Somebody's going to get irritated, and guess what happens when they get irritated? Down go the myth. Go time. This doesn't feel like we've seen the last of these two teams going at it here. No, they don't like each other, and we, we knew it was going to be a pretty heated game. Uh, you can't touch momentum, but you can feel it. And the home team's going to build a little bit, they believe, after a fight win. Listen to this place. Picked up along the wall by Gustafson. Denies him on the slapper. Can't keep a hold of it as he's jostled off the puck. Takes the feed. The Flames get a hold of the puck along the boards. And we'll put a bow on the first 20 minutes of play as the horn sounds. And we're about set to drop the puck here on period number two. Second period now underway. We'll see how much longer this thing stays tied. Well, we've got over 20 minutes played thus far. Ray, how have you seen things? The Flames burnt the puck up constantly in that first period. Probably pretty lucky the game's tied. James, when you look forward to the rest of this game, they have to do a much better job when they have the puck to make sure they keep it. And that one's broken up. Great hit on the play. Loose puck battle along the boards. Grabbed along the boards by McDavid. Backtracks with the puck but maintains possession. Can't connect. Receives the pass. And that one's broken up by a great defensive play. The Oilers gain control of the puck against the wall. Giordano's got it through center. They've got numbers. Sends it over. And that's picked off in front. Slides the pass over to Archibald. That's a solid hit. And he slides it quickly to Shane. There's a collision. The big boy really laid the body on there. He closed the gap and laid out a big hit. Edmonton's got the puck along the boards. Moves it to Larson. Quick pass to Archibald. Drops the anchor. 
the Flames have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Hamannick's got it into offensive territory. Lifts the stick and takes the puck. Edmonton's got it in their own zone. Jabs the puck away. Tried to get 2Q with it and loses possession. Archibald's in good shape here, but he ends up losing the puck and overhandle. Tries to get it to Kara. Good hit on the play. Edmonton's got the puck along the wall. That's in! He scores! Man, their bench jumped right up. Both teams know the longer you stay locked in a tie, luck starts to play a bigger part of the victory. Nice job tying up his opponent. Levels him with the hit. Slides the puck over. Here's a chance right in the slot, and that's blocked. Here's a blast. Oh, what a hit on the play. Get your head up, or you run into that. Oh, denies him with the save. I think he got the blocker on it. Oh, you'll win respect for your teammates doing that. What a block. Oh, 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 oh. Man, did he steamroll over top of him there, Seaball. Look out. That was a freight train on that one. Passes right to the front. Fantastic save. Oh, he reads the play really well to get out and aggressive to make that save. Quick pass across to Dreisaitl. The Oilers move the puck in the defensive zone. Edmonton's Whoa. in transition. Calgary's got a hold of it along the wall. Delayed penalty coming up here. Good heads up play in the defensive zone. And the whistle stops the play. And someone's off to the box. The Oilers will have to kill off two minutes here, charging the call. Sometimes it just looks like a penalty. You can't even really define it. That looked like a charge. I believe they call that late. Tosses it on to Archibald. And they move the puck out of harm's way. Scooped up along the wall by Shane. And somehow, someway, he comes up with a stop with his glove. Oh, he snaps the glove save off there. Excellent chance in the slot. The Oilers have been the more active squad, and they continue to lead late in the second period. Goudreau's carrying it ahead, and he regains control of the puck. Oh, brutal open ice hit. He laid the shoulder in. It's a clean hit. There'll be no penalty. That's a devastating hit. And the sound of the horn will wrap things up for period number two in what has been a tightly contested affair. Welcome back, everyone. He's Ray, I'm James, and we are ready to kickstart this third period. The Oilers win the draw and get their penalty killing unit off to a good start. Oh, what a hit! You can almost see that coming. The defensive player had the lane, and he just runs him over. Picked up along the boards by Monaghan. The Flames fire blanks on the power play. We're back to even strength here. Well, there are times you look for your power play at the very least to gain a little momentum. They needed a goal. Now they still trail by one back to even strength. Here's a chance. Wow. He scores! Nothing boring about that. Sean Monaghan capitalizes. Still early on in this frame, James and Ray with you. So glad you could join us. We got a tie game. Puck scooped up by Anderson. Moves it around along the half wall. And the stick falls apart. Who's more frustrated? The one on one with the goaltender. Denies him with a big time save. He thought he had him beat, but the goalie gets over to make a great stop. And now he tries to get it across to Cluffbaum. The Oilers carry it along the wall. Denies him in front. Riddick's got the puck. Boy, he's been under fire tonight. Been really sharp, and in a close game, you can't make a mistake that costs a critical goal. The Oilers win the faceoff. Calgary's got the puck. Looks to pass it to Lucic. He got all of that one. Along the right side into the offensive zone. Oh, he rocked him! The Flames gain possession along the wall. Calgary's got it into the offensive zone. And he slides it quickly to Larson. It's a two on one. Here's a shot, and that one stopped. Rocked him. Some players have more of a physical presence. He does have one, and he really used his size to his advantage. Gets it out of his own end. The Flames have it behind the cage. 
Taken along the wall by Brody. Takes it out of the offensive zone and back to center. Streaking through center, they go on the attack. From the defensive zone, they move the puck around. With the steal. To the low slot. Bro. Scores! And he puts his team in front. James, this game looks really comfortable as a tie game. Now they're ahead. They've got to continue to push. Puck is dropped, and we are back underway. And now it's grabbed by Manchapani. Coughs up possession of the puck. Takes that pass back to the point. That's using the body on the block. Nothing doing. Moves the puck. Stops him cold. This is a face-off. They'll definitely want to win here inside the offensive zone. Good read by the winger as the two setters tie up. The Oilers will play it from the defensive zone. Quick feed to McDavid. Sends the pass over. Lays into the body. The Flames wow. have it against the wall. Sorry, James, that's a really solid hit there. The arms up, there's the whistle, and... Coming up. Best impersonation for a raging bull base for that charging call. About halfway through that, the official's got his radar up. If he doesn't slow down, the call's gonna be made. Slides it across, and that one's broken up. Great block there. Quick shot. He scores! New game! They showed no frustration as they tried to claw the way back in. One shot. One rebound, whatever it is, now they're caught. In the final moments of this period, it's all tied up. Moves it quickly over to Anderson and pokes the puck loose inside the offensive end. Giordano stick handling in his own zone. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. Went for the dirty dangle and it goes sideways. McDavid's tendency is to shoot the puck. This time he overhandles it and loses it. Icing is the call, and how big is this looming face-off now? Really critical face-off in a, in a game that is at this point. This face-off becomes one that is a must-win. Puck grab by Giordano. Less than a minute to go now here in regulation. He scores! Well, this could be something that changes your year around. You get a few bounces like this, or you don't get a few bounces like this. The puck's off the post in the net. A couple goals in right around a minute and 50 seconds. That sure changes things here on the ice. Yeah, the game has completely been turned upside down. And a chance to put this thing away goes sideways. Icing is the call. Yeah, I don't like this play, James. A smarter play is just to get it over the red line and hopefully have some curling weight so it gets down by the goal line. But icing it gives the opponent a free face off in your zone. Puck set in deep, and they'll change things up on the back end. A chance that an empty net goes awry, and we've got a face-off back at the other end. Well, depending on how good your centerman is on the draw, I don't know if this is a very good play. Icing's the call. You know the coaching staff's not going to love that one. Well, I can think of about three plays he could have made other than that one, but hey, that's the way it goes. Now you need your centerman to win a draw. Calgary's got a hold of the puck. It's almost like he dug in a little deeper there after the icing to win that draw. There it is, the empty net goal, and that should bring this one to a conclusion. Doesn't matter how it goes in the net, you get to score, it's always a fun deal. The Flames add the insurance marker, which pretty much seals the deal on this one tonight, Ray. Well, their opponent pulled the goalie, they're trying to pressure to get the tying goal, but it backfires, and the empty netter puts it away. He says, let's get physical on that play. Koskinen's at the... He scores! What a shot! What a pass! Edmonton's had more shots on goal, but yet they run into a hot goalie. They trail late in this third period. Try Seidel's won it. And that's all she wrote from this one here tonight. Well,